Just to be correctly when I correct when I say there's a lot of children in classrooms are jittery because they need first hand experiences. They yeah. can't sit still all day and say, yeah. I'ma listen to what you're saying. My imagination to hear you, but I also see you in a rocket suit. <laughs> and I need to go to the science uh, museum so I can hear you a little better. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? They need to have that first-hand experience. They can't right. sit in class all day. That's why they be doing cartwheels and all that while you try to read. <laughs> right, right. Playing with their shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, every you got to cater to children's learning environment. Mm -hmm. Not you force your ideology on children to learn. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumachettes, Rhea, and we're back, back with, with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Hi! This is a tale of two kindergartens in Norway where, unlike Scotland, children spend the bulk of their time outside. And evidently, they love it. Man, recess, huh? Each Norwegian child has the right to a kindergarten place from the age of one. And now they have the right to a day a week outside too. This is a sight I don't think we'd see in Scotland somehow. Uh, we're at the Budin 4-H farm near Buda in northern Norway. And the idea is to try and connect children with their natural environment. Uh, the, the kids here are from a school and from a kindergarten. And the kindergarten's been here all day. As you can see, there's snow. It's been snowing very heavily today. It's been minus one, minus two at times. Uh, the kids are perfectly equipped for this weather. In fact, they're better equipped than most of the adults standing around here. And they've been out all day for mm. three hours. Child, baby, look, they're accustomed to the cold. <laughs> right, I was going to say that. Yeah, I was going to say that. We ain't. Immune system on hot time. No, not at all. And just for anyone who is new here, we're from the south. Yeah. Of the United States. Okay, so we are used to heat, humidity. Nice, foggy, moist air. Child, if it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm trying to think. Just yeah, say if you, can, if you can see your breath, yeah. we know the, the weather's to changed. Go it's time to go inside. Go inside. Yeah, big time. You know, um, the schools don't even let the children out if it's that cold. First of all, we don't even go to school if there's a little sleet. On the roads, no. Now that's so, a hard fact. <laughs> so yeah, this school out. Be different. In a yeah, that's a hard fact for. <laughs> at a time playing in the snow they take their uh, their lunch in little house outside and they spend the bulk of their time absolutely fascinated by the animals in this farm which they're allowed to touch feed play with and generally mess around with pigs sheep cows and hens all part of a typical day for these children who certainly know by the end of it that eggs come from hens and the degree to which they see the whole natural process is something that is quite extraordinary for us in Scotland, where we seem to have become very limited, very worried. What if, what if the kids picked up an infection? What if one of the animals bit them? What if? But what if children continue to be so completely divorced? No, I gotta say, one of all the, most of the great teachings starts outside. Mm -hmm. Like you have people, mm -hmm. I mean, you can look at it from the natives of lands from different places around the world. Their teaching started outside. You mm -hmm. can look at it from martial arts. Their teaching starts outside. You can look at yeah. sports. You can look at historic moments. A lot of times you can teach in the classroom, but when they get that hands-on experience, that's outside. So yeah. if you were to think about it, they're in a good space to be great. Yeah, they retain the information more. Yeah, big facts. You know, like when we bring our children to the nature walks and all that, child. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We walking behind you. Just yeah. go. Go <laughs> like they love it. They love looking at the different birds and yep. doing the little scavenger hunts thing. Yep. Yep. And when we go to the forums, they look. <clears throat> There's a video on our family channel. If you want to go watch the shorts mm. of our son, he was what one. One at years that old, time. maybe. One years old. 
He wanted to kiss. What was it? Some animal. A goat? Could have been a goat. But he stuck his whole face in the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that was a little nerve wracking right there. Because if that thing would have snapped on his look, Child. he would have been look. Yeah, <laughs> they love going. So natural surroundings. Up. Is that not something we should worry about? They all together. Look at them. They're just all over the place. Look at them. So here we are, uh, a little bit further along. Tell me where we're, we are and where we're about to go. Um, now we are staying at uh, outside the kindergarten. There. And, uh, there. It's the house. And we're going to go a little bit further in the forest and uh, go to our first base. To find the kids? To find yes, the kids. The kids, the kids are. are there now. Do they have accidents? Um, not more than other kindergartens. Right. And uh, there's just no danger associated with them being outside like this. No, we have to count them. So we make sure <laughs> we have all that. But we are doing it. We have uh, good routines. We have a lot of routines uh, yeah. regarding safety, mm -hmm. both inside and outside. But you don't get parents who say, these are my little babies. I can't have them out in the snow. It's too cold. Oh, no. no, no, no. They say they have to get out in the yeah. snow. Yeah. 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 They do everything. Yeah. And do you find it surprising that I'm asking you this? Maybe uh, a little bit. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a foreign world for us to, to have uh, parents uh, thinking like that. In Norway, that's not uh, usual at all. It's normal to, the to kids have the are, kids outside. Yeah. I'm staggered. <laughs> <laughs> we can focus on the kids and it's safe. It's really safe. We haven't had any uh, accidents, uh, a bit, uh, some cutting and a bit, bit blood and things like that, but not uh, anything uh, it's that's, harmless. Uh, yeah, it's harmless. And they learn. That's how they learn, kids. And they climb up in the top of the trees and... But we make sure everything is safe under, so if they fall down, we make sure there's no big stones or so learn, uh, small trees coming up, and so it's safe for them. And is it, is it adults that tend to be the difficult ones about being outside, you know, that haven't got the right equipment, mm. and haven't got the right clothes? Yeah, it's, yes. not, it's not a big issue in our kindergarten because the people that work for us, they know that to work this place we have to go outside. And you don't find a, a younger generation who are more keen on handbags? Handbags, what's that? That's the things that you carry around as fashion accessories, ladies? No. Oh, you know, that clothes, they are that they are more. Uh, look, shoes. No, oh, no, no, no problem yeah. at all. We live in a part of the country of that uh, fashion is like. Uh, and uh, Gore-Tex. Gore yes. yes. <laughs> so and, you are actually we... models. You are fashion models of Gore-Tex. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <I'm> Lovely. <sorry>. <laughs> well, fashion models lead the way. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> But waterproof clothing is no fashion accessory if you're outside all day. The Norwegians have a saying, there is no bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. And they're so right. Can you imagine then what it's like to live in a country that uh, doesn't let children out practically at all? I really can't. I can't imagine that. What do you Poor imagine? Kids. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. And, and what do you imagine will happen to them I, as adults? I think they, they are losing a lot of learning. And uh, especially when they are small, they are, lose, they are learning by f first hand. Not that somebody is telling you what to learn, but that you have to experience, experience. it yourself. Mm -hmm. And here out in the nature, they really can't. And just to be correctly, when I, correct when I say there's a lot of children in classrooms are jittery because they need first-hand experiences. They yeah. can't sit still all day and say, yeah. I'm going to listen to what you're saying. My imagination to hear you, but I also see you in a rocket suit. <laughs> and I need to go to the science uh, museum so I can hear you a little better. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? They need to have that first-hand experience. They can't right. sit in class all day. That's why they be doing cartwheels and all that while you try to read. <laughs> right, right. Playing with their shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, every we got to cater to children's learning environment. Mm -hmm. Not you force your ideology on children to learn. Right, we'll yeah. talk. Do that. We have science outside. They can touch the bugs. They can dig oh, holes. They can make weather stations, and they Listen learn things bird song. by first hand. Really, bird song, and they can smell the flowers, and and uh... so one of our ground philosophies are that the foundation in small children 
our motorical skills. Mm. Sorry, our what? Motorical, um, to uh, be able to learn to run, to climb. Motor to skills. Motor, then. yeah. This is called yes. that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And that that is the foundation. And when they have that on place, they can develop a lot easier. I was quite astonished to see the children using knives. Yes. <laughs> he was. <laughs> was he? he? Was, yes, he was astonished. And he... Uh, seemed to like it a lot. <laughs> he really did. Were you surprised? He was surprised. A little bit, but we have heard that uh, countries outside Norway uh, uh, don't let the kids do as much as we can do in With Norway. knives, particularly, because pe people see <laughs> knives as weapons. Yeah. Yes. And that's uh, important for us to uh, learn, them how, learn, how, learn them how to use it. How, and, what a knife uh, what is a knife, for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you can use it for. And you don't have a big problem with knife crime here as a result no. of children using <laughs> knives when they're no, no, three? No. no, we don't. At all. They use the knife for uh, cutting uh, sticks from the trees and making things and they and really like to do that. And we're making it safe yeah. by having an adult beside them all the time when they mm. are doing, and mm. doing it and uh, two, three at a time. And so and what what did you say to the Scottish Children's Minister then? What was your message to him about a bit, outdoors? A bit what, yeah, what we are telling you now that the, this is the foundation. This is learning by first hand, and uh, oh, we said a lot. Yeah. <laughs> did you say get your children outside too? And we said, well, what we're saying to you that we can't understand it being a problem, but we don't know your country and how how things are there. So perhaps that is a question for us. Quite what are we so afraid of that we're keeping our children out of this wonderful outdoors? One thing that I can also mention about all of this is their personality is a lot more sharpened. Mm -hmm. So when you have like a sharpened personality because of just the reality that you're around, you can handle situations a lot more uh, genuine, charismatic, you know what I'm saying? You're more sensitive to certain things. But when you're inside a room or in a box 24-7 weeks at a time, your engagement is limited. Right. You know, right. so. Yeah, I agree with that. But I feel like maybe, I remember our first time seeing this. I want to say it was the Netherlands. Oh, when they do, <laughs> their, they did the same thing. Their outdoor class. So mm -hmm. We was like, that child is in the tree at the top. Yeah. See, we are used to allowing our children to be free and roam and, you know, parks and farms. Like when we go to places that's outdoors. But the top of the tree is a little bit much. Because mm. we know if you fall and something happened to you, that's going to land on us. Then we got to take you to the hospital. Then they want to know how you fell, where we was when you fell. Then, right, right. then uh, interroga uh, inter uh, interrogation yeah, happens. Yeah. And it's all about the laws. You know, these are our children. But at the end of the day, we don't want to get in trouble for allowing children to be children. Saying that is wrong. It just sounds weird. It's just, know? bro, it's like one public notification to the world and they call you something you're that to the people yeah. so if, you, if they see you as an unfit parent mm -hmm. because of a child fell out of the tree and you let him go to the top right you're going to be judged as an unfit parent right for right. majority of your life just about yeah but i remember um climbing trees but i we was all, climbing man, trees listen, i tell you some bro, bro, we it. all had some danger <laughs> see dang being being in a danger type of environment. Nah, I'm not gonna say it like that. For instance, they was playing with knives. It's mm -hmm. exciting to do something that is a little risky mm -hmm. for them because they see sharp, they know they have to be even more careful with it. And then earlier you seen a child standing on a slippery table. He probably yeah. did that 20 times already right. compared to playing with a knife that you can actually hurt yourself with, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, when, when you're in a position to do a little something exciting, like jumping off the bed or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you don't think about hurting yourself. Right. You know what? I, I think it's cool. Um, I looked into the kindergarten, the outdoor kindergartens and all that just to see like what was the nearest one around us. Mm -hmm. And they have some in the Dallas area. Surprisingly. I think one. Surprisingly. I think one. Yeah, because yeah. Texas is a green state for homeschool. So the, they get to let their children do whatever. Facts. You know? Yeah. So this was a cool video. It let was. us know your thoughts. So we hope you guys enjoyed it with us. Like this video, subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request forms in our description, description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.